stable layer near the surface, so it is likely going to keep that smoke close to ground level. So if you're around that fire, definitely try to stay inside if you can help it. We do have clear skies over Columbia County. This is a look from our Grovetown cam looking towards the waning gibbous moon. A pretty look at it tonight. It's definitely shining bright, and you can see uh, we are looking at uh, clear skies for the rest of tonight. Temperature is already down to 34 at Bush Field, and we are expecting these to drop a, a few more degrees before we get towards early tomorrow morning. Wanted to show you our low temperature history of the last couple of weeks. So this morning we got down to 27 degrees. That was a new record low temperature for Augusta on this date. 19 degrees below average. Definitely a cold start even for these November standards. Heading into tomorrow, we should be back below freezing. At Bushfield, we're going with a low temp of 29. So very cold once again. Still a chilly start to the weekend forecast. Saturday morning, we should be in the mid-30s. We'll start to see some slightly more mild mornings though, as we head later into next week. Uh, potentially only seeing morning temps close to 50 by next Tuesday. Let's take a look at our temperatures across the region over the next couple of days. So remember, chilly night, we'll see these temperatures bottom out close to freezing by daybreak Friday. We're going to hang on to a northeast wind staying between 5 to 10. Definitely not overly breezy Friday afternoon. A little bit warmer for us. Definitely warmer than the past couple of days, at least hitting the mid 60s as we head into our Friday evening. Some big uh, playoff football games for some of our South Carolina schools. Around kickoff, we should be in the 50s, but we'll fall into the 40s during game time. So I would bundle up heading out to those games tomorrow night. Into the weekend, a cool start Saturday morning. We should wake up into the 30s across most of the region. You can see those temperatures do warm up, though, the further south you're going to be traveling. Once we get into around lunchtime, we got some big football games. Clemson taking on Notre Dame. That's a noon kick. Should be in the upper 50s. Uh, Carolina taking on Jacksonville State, mid 60s in Columbia. And then we have a 3:30 kick in Athens for the Georgia game. Temperatures there in Athens should be in the low 70s around kickoff. Same thing for us here in Augusta. High temps through the weekend should top out into the low 70s. Just really nice fall like weather. And we're going to hang on to generally sunny skies all weekend long. Heading into Sunday morning, low 40s around sunrise and then later into our Sunday afternoon sunshine and 70s. Great weekend to head up to the lake. We're looking at great lake temperatures or great lake weather over the next several afternoons. Mid 60s Friday, upper 60s Saturday. With these cool nights we've seen, our lake temps are dropping into the upper 60s. So getting a little bit too chilly to jump in now. Weekend forecast for us here in Augusta. Once again, 72 Saturday. 73 on Sunday. Just some really nice weather to get outside. Heading into next week, we are going to see a warming trend. High temperatures back close to 80 next Tuesday through Thursday. Riley, thanks. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is on his way to 